with that woman. <laughs> Very good. Next one. My wife Becky said I was a failure. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Okay. May well you say, God save the Queen. <laughs> That's right. Goff, very good. You, you guys, you've you played this game before. Wow, you're good. Okay. I'll leave you with this last one. Now think very carefully, it's tough. You cheated on me, so I'm going to make your life an absolute misery. I'll say it one more time. You cheated on me, so I'm going to make your life an absolute misery. That's my ex-wife, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Actually, for the older guys, it's James Cagney. But he sounds a bit like Bogart. <laughs> so we've got any um, Indians in the audience? Chinese? Nihao? I know we have Chinese, because I asked them if I could do this joke first, I didn't want to offend anybody. And when they said, you're not going to offend me, I got upset because I wanted to offend them anyway. <laughs> so they gave me the wrong answer. Maybe they were having me on. But I was in Shanghai, and the waiter had, a restaurant of course, the waiter had a very strong accent. <clears throat> and uh, I said, so uh, I'd like this, the seafood buffet looks good, what's in the seafood buffet? Oh, you got a uh, dumpling, you got a scallop, a scallop, and you got uh, the, the best uh, calamari. Oh, you love the calamari. The snort. Wow. I've done that for a while. So I, I thought, I thought calamari, that's, you don't get a second chance. You ever cook from the barbie guys, you know what it's like, don't you? You don't get a second chance, do you? So I'm eating away and the guy comes up and says, Oh, how you like your uh, calamari? I said, as a matter of fact, I'll be honest, it's, um, it's rubbery. He said, I told you you like it. You're rubbery too. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad, is it? Not too Yeah. But the Indians I love because that's the reason I bought Foxtel. I love Foxtel. I've got IQ 2 or 3 or whatever it is. Keeps fucking up, but I keep bloody ringing up Raj. <laughs> and he goes, Look, there is a problem. You want to move from your place to another. I don't care where you live. But you have to wait three weeks, and the man will come between nine and two. Nine and two. And I figured why they do this with their heads, you know, because they're the most non committal race in the world. I am very scared to say yes, but I don't want to say no. So I'm in between you. <laughs> So this guy didn't even ask me where I was moving from and to, just straight into three weeks. I said, oh, okay, I've got to wait three weeks and between nine and two, by the way, Mr. David, Mr. David Walwar, where do you live? And I said, I live between Brisbane and Melbourne, right? Now we're even. Okay, yeah, exactly. He made a tough for me, I made a tough for him. He's got to find where Sydney is on Melbourne. I'm, sure, I'm not sure if he knows. Are there any English people in the crowd? Yeah, there is one. I know, the uh, snooker player, my mate. <laughs> Scottish, Irish, of course, you're just very shy, I know. Okay, Englishmen, Scotsmen, Irish, all arguing about how silly their wives are. Englishman, he's from uh, London. Yeah, my wife, she's at Darth, mate. she come home from the gynecologist and, the, and the, he, you know what he said to her? He said, you're pregnant. I said, you can't be pregnant. I'd have sent me, you stupid bloody bitch. What's going on? I didn't actually, the guy didn't actually know what was going on. The Scotsman says, Ew, that's nothing. My wife's so fucking stupid. Yeah, it sounds a bit like Billy. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. She's, she's so stupid. When making love the other night, she goes, Give it to me, Tommy. My name's not Tommy, it's fucking Billy. She's fucking stupid. The Irishman 
says, well, I brought you both beef, and I'll tell you why. Because my wife was going on a holiday to Greece. Nobody else but her. I wasn't going. I looked inside her suitcase. When she wasn't looking, there were five fucking condoms. Ladies and gentlemen, she hasn't even got a dick. <laughs> no fucking stupid. <laughs> you think, uh, yeah, see how smart you women are? Never underestimate a woman, ever. Okay. Now, you look like a smart crowd. Everyone knows what DNA stands for, right? It's an acronym. Yep, that's right. National Dyslexic Association. How <laughs> do the smart ones get that? Very good. And uh, everyone knows also that the, the human being is not only the uh, bisexual um, animal, the, um, the donkey is too, because it has a he in the morning and a whore in the afternoon. <laughs> exactly. Now, this fella here is about my vintage. 37, yep. Whereabouts, yep, yeah. okay. So, the, the most popular fast food in the world is pizza. I rang my favourite pizza place and I said, I want a thin and crusty supreme. Guess who knocked on my door for a thin and crusty supreme? Dinah Ross. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Very good. I like that. Oh, hey. You didn't want to give me a ha ha ha. Just a ha ha ha. Just, just hit you, doesn't it? Just boom. So, I'm, um, I lived for 1969, great year. And I'll just finish with this. In 1969, I, uh, the greatest movie I ever saw was The Graduate. If you ever saw the movie, it was Dustin Hoffman was in his 20s, going out with a girl, the mother's, the, the girl's mother puts it on him, Anne Bancroft, and she corners him and says, give it to me, Benjamin. What she really said was, fuck me, Benjamin. His exact words were, oh God, Mrs. Robinson, I don't, I don't think we should do this. You're trying to sub those me, Mrs. Robinson. Really shut himself. I thought, what would my favourite cop of all time, Lieutenant Colombo, have done in that situation? You know, Mrs. Robinson, I've got this terrible problem. I said, Mrs. When Mrs. Colombo found out, she'd be absolutely devastated. Oh, and just one other thing. Can I leave my raincoat on? I believe in all of the protection, Mrs. Robinson. Thank you very much. <laughs> my favourite uh, cowboy was John Wayne. If you remember John Wayne, is. Where in hell would you like it, Mrs. Robinson? What about we do it RC style? Giddy up, go back, giddy up, go back. <laughs> Who's the most powerful man in the world, unfortunately? Yes, imagine if a woman put it on Donald Trump. Donald Trump would probably go, You know, Mrs. Robinson, you remind me of Hillary Clinton. So when I fuck you, you put a bag over your head, one over mine in case yours breaks. You got that? <laughs> oh, lovely. That's what he's like. Yeah, so anyway, I, I said to my um, wife, do you want some, something from down the shop? Made the mistake. She said, yeah, get me the, the DVD. And it was my favourite, actually, Al Pacino, Scent of a Woman. You ever seen that movie? Ooh, oh, fantastic movie. And I got the I got the title mixed up. Guess what I brought home? A fish called Wanda. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 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 oh.